Welcome to this short presentation of Melody, the online platform for creating your own Linked Open Data story. So as a first step, we can either decide to start creating a story immediately or to sign in. In my case, I'm signed in and I'm signed in with my GitHub user account, which is part of the, the Polyphonia GitHub organization. That means that all the stories that I will create and publish will be visible here. Even if I have a GitHub user that is not part of the Polyphonia GitHub organization, I will be able to log in and to create my beautiful data stories with Melody, but I will publish them somewhere else, as I will show you in a bit. Rather than showing you how to create a story from scratch, I will show you some of the most interesting stories that we have created so far. For instance, this one is the one created by the scholars in uh, Music Bowl. And this is how more or less it looks at data story. So we have curated text contents alternated with graphic components that are charting options like counters, charts, which include bar charts, line charts, and other charts like scatter plots or donut charts. And we can also include, for example, geographical maps, and we can see their details. We can also have enable more sophisticated options like filtering. So we will get in some maps, we will get some filtering options to browse and to prune the results on your map. But how does it look on the back end, which is what people see? So to use Melody, basically you need two important things. First is the URL of a sparkle endpoint, that is the one that will be queried to create these charts and a little knowledge of SparkQL. Through the template, you will see that there are plenty of um, helpers and uh, quick suggestions on how to do things. And this is how it looks the back end of the story. You can pick the colors of your story that will be used for the charts. And every single component that we saw on the final story is here represented by a box where the user can directly input the Sparkle query and see immediately the results. So this is very nice so that people can decide what uh, to publish before actually seeing the final preview. So this kind of interface is called WYSIWYG, so what you see is what you get. There are other interesting options that are not available in this chart, in this story, but we see, for example, another one that is relations between music bands. I show you from the back end, but this is more or less the same results that you would get on the front end. So in the final data study, we have simple text searches. But the added value of these text searches is that you can attach to the results of your searches actions meaning that you can continue browsing information according to the choice of the designer of the story. So for instance, here we looked for a music band called Queen, and we want to see all the music genres that characterize this group. So we see, for example, that is glam rock, we, and we want to see more bands of the same genre. So you see, you can continue, and here you get again a number of bands, and you have more options. So for example, we want to see the members of our band. Wherever it's possible, there are images, audio files, and all the multimedia are supported in the browsing. Now, for what can, as I said before, we have the possibility to enable external users to use Melody, meaning that they can log in with their GitHub account, but their stories will not end up with the stories created by the Polyphonia Consortium, but they will publish somewhere else. In particular, we created another external online catalog where we publish all the stories created by external users. In this case, you see a number of stories created by students of a master course where they were trying to uh, learn how to use SparkQL and, uh, and Melody. Everything is documented in a separated website that is the Melody documentation that includes all the information to install and reproduce uh, what is done in Melody and a user guide that tells you, that gives us detailed information on how to uh, create your own data studies. 
This is all. Thank you.